Really haven't seen any change in this front. Yeah, it looks like it was trying to keep track of observers. Oh, and that's why you Thank have it right there. Thank you for exhibit A <laughs> as to why that overseer is there. It looks like the hive is done. What tech will he be going for? An ultralist uh -oh. cavern. Very fast ultralist. He's just trying to move around, but look at this nice money mix from Tester. This is such a huge army. I'm trying to find if there are more colossi coming. Yes, indeed. And of course, Tester, who's been saving up Chrono Boost, has a giant mix of um, oh, she has Chrono Boost. She's just going to use it on all these different things. There's one Colossi coming out, and two Colossi coming out, and more gateways. Tester setting himself up for a huge all-in-ish mid-game push. Yeah, it looks like Idra is going to be ready for it. He has quite the force himself. That Ultralist then, though, needs to hurry up because Ultralists do take quite some time. And Ultralisk and, and, and ZVP, I haven't really seen that too often. I've seen players like Artosis and very rarely Idra get them because all the real late game units that Protoss wants to use are armored Immortals, Stalkers, Colossi. So if you get them quickly enough, even though those Immortals pack a big punch, you just have such a good economy. And plus with Zerglings, you should be in good shape. And there comes Tester moving out of his base. I guess sitting next to that Hanging Wolf by the Wolf just trying to be as cool as that Wolf An essential tactical piece of terrain in this map. And of course, here's the good counterattack. Will he be able to get one Immortal? That's a good hit, not nearly as good as the Colossus, but this is delaying this huge push because right now Idra would have had no way to deal with that attack. Looks like he tried to kill that robotic oh, thing, and he does kill it there. Wow, that is going to be huge. That Those is enormous. die happily, though, because that is going to deny, of course, any more Colossus from going onto the field now. Only able to build Immortals from that. Oh, Tester is no. upset. Is he going to go for an all-in right here? He looks like he's just going for the huge counterattack. Idra is maxed. Tester at 155, and that's okay as long as you have four or five Colossus too. Uh -oh. It's just not going to be enough. Here's the Ultralisk coming out. Tester has defeated Idra every single time they have met in the finals, but Idra has a huge force. I don't know if he's going to be able to defend it. There are a lot of Immortals coming. There is the extra pylon. It all comes down to this last battle. He's getting the Observer in place, being able to pick things up. Here we go. And here come the Ultralist. Two Guardian Shields go down immediately, pulling back. Nice concave for Tester, but there are so many Ultralists. Look at those force fields. But the front lines are getting wow. ripped apart. Zealots advancing into the front. The Ultralists are dropping like flies, but there are just so many of them. The Hydros are trying to press in. More Stalkers advancing. It looks like Idra's actually making progress into this front line, and it's just Stalkers against a huge force. And now the Ultralists are coming in from behind as well. Tester might have lost the game with that attack. Yeah, that was some great unit control from Idra. If you noticed, he was moving those Ultralists back to take down those force fields, allowing his Hydras to move forward. And Tester right now is going to be trying to survive there as there is quite a lot of Hydras. Looks like he's going to buy a little bit more time. But wow, Idra's just adding on the expansion right here. Looks like we're going to see another fight here. Look at that Ultralist in the very front there doing so much damage. And the huge amount of Zerglings coming in as well to overrun the Stalkers. Idra, this might be the chance for him to win. Going to the, the, the resource wow. counter, he is doubling in wow. food. Completely overrunning everything that Tester has. These robotics facilities cannot produce fast enough. Tester is falling back to his natural and more are swarming. G -G. Good wow. Idra. Idra wins. The king of the beta. Wow. Oh my goodness. Huh. I just I, I just have to calm down. <laughs> that last attack was seriously intense. What a nail-biting series. What an awesome tournament. Huge thanks to Razor for sponsoring the king of the Big beta tournament. For Razor. And I'd like to congratulate Gregory Idrafields. I'm more than happy to line his pockets with $2,000 of cash. And of course, Tester taking second place in that tournament. But what a ride Idra had through that tournament. I mean, this had Demaga, White Ra, the little one, Huck, QXC, Idra himself, Tester, and Into the Rainbow. That is a sick lineup, imagining to win first in that at a period of time where people are concerned about the lack of Zergs at the tip top. Just showing incredible play. Yeah, really, Idris stepping up, proving to everyone that Zerg is a race to be reckoned with. Is that was just so, so, such strong play, especially with they those Ultralisks. I mean, I could was always 40 feet ahead somehow. Yeah, and those Ultralisks, the control there, making sure that he could take down those force fields, probably the the most brilliant play I think I've seen from any Zerg in the beta. Yeah, absolutely. And dealing with the different kinds of Terrans of QXC and Little One definitely deserves it. And I would like to state for the record, we have been broadcasting for 12 hours. Huge thanks to everyone for getting a crowd wow. shot.
We have a huge list of, uh, I just, I want to just thank a lot of people. So let's begin our, from the top, all of our content providers, HD and Husky. And of course, you can check them out at youtube.com slash the game station. We have good to game. Uh, GLHFIT recently changed to StarcraftWorld.it. Fragster, GLHFTV, Ghost of Gamers, So, Icy Cup, Esports, France, Greetorp, SC Legacy, The Little One, Homer, Team Liquid. And of course, our sponsors, Razor, iRip, Tagalicious, HY Stone Depot, Car Choice, Car choice detail. <laughs> what time is it? 4 a.m. I'm making it good. What else is good? Who we else got, we have to thank? DJ Wheat. Yeah, we, you? We, Big thanks to JP. Wasn't he just a man? It was my pleasure casting here. But we, we, we never saw him after StarCraft 2 came out. He just disappeared. <laughs> yeah. We were all hooting and screaming, and he's like in his room with a copy by himself, clawing the plastic off. Like, yeah, I'm so happy. And then he probably went to bed because he has work in the morning. <laughs> But of course, to Harvey Mudd for giving us this amazing facility. You can just get a shot again of the auditorium, about how great it is. And of course, for the Upward Bound and Mass Zoom folks who allowed us to use this area. To Diggity, who of course has been very helpful with all the encoding. To Bernard for making these amazing t-shirts. And um, who would you like to thank? I want to thank the tech guys. Oh, without them, geez, Rance and awesome. Hogan. And our lovely camera lady. Yes, our lovely the camera lady. Can we get a shot of Rance and Hogan? If you guys don't mind. There they are. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Big thanks to them. And uh, I also want to thank everyone. I mean, this is probably one of the largest crowds I've ever had to uh, commentate in front of. And I want to thank everyone for coming out. Big round of applause. Give you guys. Pat yourself on the back here. Without you guys, this is not possible, and uh, it, it's not as fun. That is for <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah, I mean, otherwise I'll, we'll just be sitting here talking, and no one can make sure that our jokes are actually funny. Yeah, because I have no idea. I thought I was funnier until today, but that's okay. It's a good <laughs> benchmark from being by myself alone in front of a webcam in my room. And of course, last but not least, big thanks to Blizzard. Happy zeroth birthday, StarCraft II, for all your amazing work, Blizzard. We you know, you. I, got, I got one more person that I actually want to thank, and uh, I think everyone here should stand up and give you a round of applause. For really. Without you, none of oh, this you is possible, so. Thank you so much, guys. Me! Me! And also thanks to your mom also. Oh yeah, thanks to work. Eric and my mom for helping out with the event, for ordering pizza. Big wave to supportive families. Shout out to my brother in Artosis out in Seoul, South Korea, representing. And of course, congratulations to Idra again. I think that's it. I think we did it. I think, uh, I think StarCraft 2 is out. Yeah, you know what? Go play StarCraft 2. We are signing out. Woo! See ya! See ya. Oh yeah, uh, can you guys help uh, pick up trash, please? Pick up trash for us, that would be great. We love you, thank you so much. Yeah. And, and if any of you want to say hi to me, I'm just going to like be around here, so definitely feel free to. Uh, I need you to sign this.